Okay. Today's Friday. Uh, three cells. Backlit. Um, tomorrow, I decided the weather's weird on Sunday, so probably tomorrow we're going to do a flea market. So uh, whatever shopping I do at all I'll, will be done at the flea market. Uh, we're going to be in North Bergen. Come visit us. Uh, today, three sales. Anything exciting? Or I know that one has like a, an insane amount of figurines. Figurines. And are they high end, high quality? From what I can see, they look like they could be, but yeah. I mean, it's cats and dogs. And, right. Um, it's like, I mean, I know that there are people that sell that stuff online. Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it. Um, if we buy them, we would sell them online. And what was odd was that you know everything looked as if it might have. Because there were also some larger figurines, yeah. like um, King Arthur looking things that might be like Royal Dalton or something yeah. like that. Um, there was also like trinket boxes and things. But what was weird in the photos, the, the tables were loaded. Yeah. But I didn't see price tags on anything. No. And because everything is well marked, everything can be looked up. Very easily. You know? And I can't see someone being able to remember in their head all I mean like there were hundreds of yeah. figurines. Yeah. So are you gonna Come just on. like get, either get on or don't? Yes. Eventually he decided to get in front of us. It's like I slowed down so he could get in and yeah. then he's not doing it. No. But no um, I... anyway. So uh they're not marked so I can't I don't understand how they're gonna like, I don't think anybody could keep in their head every single item that yeah. they might have looked up and know what to charge for it. I think a lot of royal... Or, hopefully, they don't care. Yeah. And they're just going to give a flat price for each piece. It's possible. Like, I, you know, all the pieces are 10 bucks a piece or... I, I think a lot of Royal Dalton sells in the, what, $50 price range? 30 to 50 I mean, a lot of the bigger... Uh, like, because they used to have these lady figures that used yeah. to go for a lot of money, but I don't, I think they're like Hummels now. It's like, yeah. they don't, I mean, certain some ones, ones yeah. still go for money, but I don't know enough about it. Yeah, we bought one with, that had some uh, damage and we made well, some money on it. We bought one that should have, it was like a gypsy lady. Yeah. Um, that, we, what happened was we found it had a little damage. Afterwards. They easily. They're very fragile. Like, like chip. Yeah. So, um have to be real careful. But we were there and they had like all these Royal Dalton figures and they had them priced like 30-ish. Well, because this woman assumed that the, the beautiful women one were worth more money. Yeah. And the ugly gypsy one wasn't. But, but it and there was the same price. The I think I think well, they were like 30 a piece or something like that. Remember. Remember. And I know we only took a chance on what we bought Yeah, one. because we were buying all, we were looking at all of them and but, they're, they're like, she wants 30. They sell for 40, 50, you know. Um, yeah, for us it wasn't. It was no. good for somebody who collects them. Exactly. But for us, for resale, it was not. I don't even like selling that stuff so much, you know. No, because you know, in transit, a head could pop off or something. Yeah. Or they could claim a head pops off. And... Yeah, we just had like this one lady. That uh, was so irritating. I know. We sold uh, an oyster dish. A, a nice old oyster dish. And the edges were like ruffled, and it was an antique piece. It was an older piece. Yeah, definitely an older one. Yeah, and there were. Like manufacturer, like flaws, like a, like a line on the edge. Yeah, where the where pottery didn't meet when it was baking. Yeah, but in between the ruffles, so yeah. like it was, it wasn't a crack. It was not know? a crack. It was a manufactured flaw. And what upsets me is that you when, felt it so. When you two. go on eBay, there's a magnifying thing on every on every. Yeah. Like so, when you. When you click on somebody's picture... We do picture, nice, big, clear pictures. When you click on somebody's picture, you can magnify it. Zoom and it, look, yeah. You zoom in on it and look at every detail even closer. Yeah. And when I do my photography, my my item is almost edge to edge. It's yeah. like I fill that photo with that item. And close-ups. Which is... And then I'll do close-ups of, of markings and yeah. damage and things like that. But the initial shot is a... It's not like... A lot of people take a picture and the thing is like well a tenth of the size yeah of the, the square, it's like they take a picture you know? of the room and and the thing is in it yeah you know what but i mean i don't my my item fills 
the photo. Right, frame to frame. Yes. Edge to edge. So when you put the magnifier on that, you can see every detail of the edging, yeah. of the, the painting, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure that this lady saw those. Yeah. And because I didn't mention them no. as being damaged, because they're not damaged. Manufacturer flaw. She bit it up, got it, and then complained that it had cracks. Yeah, these have cracks. Which and it I, didn't. And I, I tried to explain to yeah, her I, that I, their I manufacturer, like when it was made, and she said a crack is a crack. Yeah. So now she wants a discount. Yep. So... In this sense, uh, she didn't want too much of a discount. So right. I was like, fine. She wanted a third off. Which yeah, pretty know, much. Whatever. Just, I, if it, I would have wanted to just send it back. I, I was about to. my issue but... with that oyster plate was I knew it was old, and it was really a nice piece. Yeah. But it was only um, hallmarked with the letter G yes. and, and three numbers. I can't remember the numbers. Yeah. And um, I didn't know who it was. Right. But I had so many views on that thing, and I had like watchers I had so many watchers on that plate. Yeah. So in my mind, it was something that I didn't know what it yeah. was. No, I know, I know. So I'm going to uh, monitor a few right. auctions. Miles on River Road. Yeah, you just that's why I always and say you got to you got to say just, everything. See if she relists it. That's possible. Because she knows what it is. Yeah, that's possible too. And we didn't make up the hallmark. It was a par partial stamp. So no, know. no, no. It was a full stamp. Oh, but you just couldn't figure. But it, it was out. just a G. Arg. And three numbers. Yeah. I don't know. It was that Germany. <laughs> you know, yeah. and then three numbers. If it's yeah. an old German piece, I mean, it's possible. I don't know. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you'll see. You'll see. Maybe you learn something. You'll see what what it was. Yeah, I'll see if she relists it. I'll see what it is. Just uh, ch just check her uh, user ID. You know, uh, see if she sells. And I'll send buys. her a question like, "Are those cracks?" <laughs> Do it from a different no. user ID. And when she says no, it's uh, manufacturer. manufacturer like, a crack is a crack. Yeah. Are you sure? Because <laughs> I heard a crack is a crack. Yeah, someone right. told me a crack is a I crack. I like the way you ended that story. <laughs> <laughs> a crack is a crack. But listen, I got to make a phone call. Well, that's what she said. No, nah, she did. When uh, when you told her it's not a crack. Yeah, I, it's you know. A, the manufacturers. And I could have argued with her, but what's the point? You know. And she was like, yeah. a crack is a crack. A crack so. is a crack. All right, uh, let me go. We're, we'll be at the sale in a minute, and I'm getting phone calls. Bye. Uh, how much are music CDs? Oh, records, it says. Okay, it's a lot of classical, it looks like. Okay. I don't, I get this stuff so cheap, so I don't care. You see, it's mostly all here. 
Okay. That's two dollars. <laughs> Looks like classical. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make it too young to, to be doing that books. Yeah, I always, I always, I, I never understand when they do all these weird passage storage right. channels. Right. I was like, they, they were like drunk when they were doing the uh, architecture. It's like they had a few too many. <laughs> Well, I mean, just uh, it's yeah. like, what is that supposed to be? <laughs> it could be like a, a, a hidden room, maybe. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Okay, how are you? Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Uh, this one's probably screwed in. I think this is probably the most dog figurines I've seen in like cheese. <laughs> and I'm sure a bunch have already gone. Oh my god, yeah. You wouldn't mm -hmm. believe it. Out the door they went. Yep. Yeah. 
All right, I guess I'll head back downstairs. All right, for sale. There's a lot of nice stuff there, but uh, the lady said she looked every single thing. <laughs> there was like thousands of things, so she was busy. Um, we bought this George Briard tray um, for $5. We spent 15 total. And the George Briard tray, what do you think it's worth? I don't know. Should be. Hopefully it's worth at least 25 or so. Um, and then I bought these... They're, I, I don't know exactly what they're worth, but I think they're worth about 20-ish a piece. So for the two, and this should be an easy thing for me to deal with. Um, I got two of these, and they came with a nice um, sacks. You put them in a sack. Um, they're wine caddies, or wine coasters. I don't know what you call it, you know. So you put the wine bottle in there, and it, it makes it a little harder to knock it over. I think they're probably aluminum. And here's what the label says. Let me just focus in on that. Mariposa. And Marie, you said they said it was made in Mexico. Um, but they're, they're heavy enough. The design is nice. I looked up Sunflower on them, and I couldn't find them. But my personal feeling is they're worth 20 to 25 a piece. So... At 10 for the two, I think I should be able to get at least 40, uh, which is kind of like maybe around $20 profit is what I'm hoping. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll check, and if, if uh, they sell for more, I'll, I'll let you guys know.
Uh, you know, I don't really collect or anything. I only collect contemporary sign. But, I, you know, you look and see if you could make some money on some stuff. Yeah, yeah, that, that's mostly what I'm doing. You know, right? You know how it is. Oh, this is a can. Okay, it is a can. Hold on. I was wondering what that was. I, I usually, usually I can go to my desk. Tell me! Hey, how you doing? Oh, let me get these. Yeah, not much upstairs. Thank you. 
That was a hundred dollar item. No, 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 that's all right. Too much. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that was it. The most expensive item on the table. <laughs> time uh, paid a hundred for this box and we bought it spent a hundred on jewelry these are these uh, very fragile glass Christmas trees they're really cool sometimes they come with ornaments like this one she said that she had seen the ornaments but she couldn't find them so I didn't get them but I had the big ones the big ones sell for over a hundred like I said I spent a hundred for everything this one ought to be like with the, all those cool little ornaments that ought to be uh, like 30 by itself I'm hoping um, the smaller ones don't sell for as much money I bought this big brass owl. Uh, it's pretty cool. Made in Korea. They like that made in Korea um, brass sculptural stuff. Uh, oh, here. This is like an Eskimo, an Inuit kind of owl. Again, I paid 100 for everything. This is a good piece of glass. This ought to be worth like 30 or more. This is like, I think they call it, it's probably Fenton Coin Dot. Um, here's a, a really nice stick pin holder with some BS stick pins. Look at this one's gold or something. Hey, you want to look at these stick pins? Yeah. That are in the, here, I'll just patch the old stick pin holder. I so don't want to talk about that. Uh, let's see, oh, I got two of these. This is uh, Imperial Glass Salt and Pepper. I'm hoping they're worth at least 25 or more for the pair. Kind of nice carnival. Um, this is some kind of, I don't know if it's a shade or something. It's hollow, it's glass. I thought I broke it. And it is carnival, and I guess it's amethyst. A little too white. Uh, yeah, it's black. It's purple. Okay. Uh, then I got a Fenton Bell. Nice one. This ought to be worth 25 or so. Maybe more. You know, I'm not always up on prices for everything. There's nothing in there. Oh, and then I got this owl. This should be worth 25 30 at least. I think for 100 it's okay. I would have liked to pay less uh, as always but I think overall I probably did okay today I'm just gonna put some of the stuff in the box but that's it that's everything I got oh and I'm, I'll show Marie's jewelry in a minute show me what she got I got two scarab that's probably gold filled this one's sterling nice. this this was so well, you basically paid a hundred for your jewelry she did like hey fill a bag for a hundred <laughs> but it, it wasn't a real bag right because, did she have a bag? No. Yeah, so... She oh, just... I thought that pin was... Scary. Yeah, this one's really nice. Who makes it? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't say. But I would guess it's like 60s. Yeah. I got this Just from set. the brush way it is on it's, the back. It's West Germany. Uh, it's plastic, but it's like textured. Okay. Yeah, I see. It's got like those little beads. Micro beads. And that's like tin, I guess. I think it's tin or steel. It's like a thin sheet, but it's metal for sure. Yeah. You know, and it's like cut. I got... I can't find the other one right now. I got this set. It's earrings. Okay, okay this is fun. Anybody? I don't know. 
It's not selling, no. Okay, and so this is like probably 20 ish dollars. 25. Okay. Uh, you should just paint one rolling stone. Yeah. I know, I said okay. I can't find the other one yet. Yeah, this is pretty. Hopefully, I got it. I better make sure it's in here. Here it is. This has like, like oh, you said, pink is. rhinestones. Okay, there's the other earring. So you got it. This is a set. And that's nice too. I like that big faux pearl. Yeah. And uh, nothing signed by anybody, no, right? No, that's, okay. that's why it's so weird. No, well, a lot of jewelry wasn't signed. This is Limoges. Nice. Does it say Limoges on the back? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there it is. So this ought to be worth like 30 at least, right? I hope. Yeah, it's a really nice painted cam. This it's, one's marked on the shank print. here, so I assume it might be Cremence. Okay. It's a glass cameo. Okay. Marie thinks this is Cremence, is what she said. Uh, this is, I believe, yeah, a gold filled gold pin gold. with a pearl. I got like three pins. Okay. Are three gold filled ones? Or? Yeah, oh, because right. I thought maybe if worse came so I could put them on as a lot. Yeah. See, I got, you know, pearl. Yeah, gold filled go jewelry uh, scraps at a similar jewelry. amount to sterling. Uh, I don't know exactly. This is a hand, this is a painted uh, cameo. Oh, wow, that's nice. It says something on the back, too. Is that like Bavaria? It might have the lady's name on it. Okay. It's, there. This, the, is this coin? That's really nice. Yeah, but you like those. The, the, it's fine coral, but I don't know if those coins were just added onto a coral bracelet. I don't know. I guess you just look up coral coin bracelet. Got. This one I got to look. There's something written on the side. I thought that one might be okay, but... Yeah, there's something written on the side there, and okay. I can't read it. All right, I'll take this. This, of course, is the but other gold fill pen. I don't know how many pieces are there, but I got it all for 100. Uh, you guys can count it and tell me. And, and this one, you it says nothing? Uh, no, but you can doesn't see doesn't look, it yeah, like I, I know. Like and this one is obviously nothing. It's just a B pin, not, not an actual B, the letter B. Uh, it, it could sting you, though. Uh, and then this one. Marie says it says something on the shank, so I'll take, a, I'll take a closer look at that. And maybe if I can figure it out. Maybe what I'll do is I'll try and take a picture of it and blow it up. You guys can see it. And once I start, once I start moving, okay, that's what we got.